So in recent weeks, Labour have gone from strength to strength in the polls. Today, a phenomenal poll with Ipsos Mori putting them on 40%. Unweighted, they're in fact ahead of the Conservatives, which is just remarkable. But for a minority of Corbyn sceptic journalists and pundits, this has nothing to do with the Labour campaign, nothing to do with Corbyn's politics and his policy platform, but the weakness of the Conservatives, the fact that Theresa May is an absolute horror show as a campaigner and Prime Minister in waiting. These same people, nonetheless, were saying that Theresa May was Margaret Thatcher Mark II, the English Angela Merkel, but that's even more reason to not take them particularly seriously. But let's look at the facts. First and foremost, Labour are cutting through, they're doing so well have gained 20% in some polls because of this manifesto. And they simply would not be having this platform in a general election without uh, the leader being Jeremy Corbyn, right? Impossible. Wouldn't have happened. Just two years ago, they were effectively abstaining on welfare reform, which hit the poorest the hardest. So first and foremost, this wouldn't even be in play. Secondly, let's look at the facts. And these people don't like to talk about the facts because it's not particularly nice to hear. Between 1997 and 2010, Labour lost 5 million votes. 5 million votes. They went down from 30.5 million to 8.5 million, right? Between 1997 and 2015, they lost seats at every single general election. Every single one. And just two years ago, in the 2015 general election, they lost 40 seats in Scotland. 40 seats. They've got one seat left up there. They lost 40 of them two years ago. And in contrast to all of this, we're now seeing them on the rise. And the context within which the Corbyn project is so seemingly successful is not just British, but also European. The French Party Socialiste and the Dutch Labour Party in recent elections in those two respective countries have got like 6, 7, 8%. So Labour isn't just the largest party on the centre-left in Europe in terms of membership, it's also got the highest polling. Give JC some damn respect, that's phenomenal. He's broken all the rules and somehow he's not just still standing, he's thriving. I think many commentators, many pundits are now eating their words. Fair play to you guys. You're owning up and say, look, we got it wrong. For those who haven't said that, suck it up and cope and please try and stay relevant.